Looking at this picture, does it just take you back to that day? It does. You know, you want everything to be fine with your babies. And, you know, it was just really, really a scary moment. It's a story that's followed Cheyenne Bloodsoe her entire life. So my parents had always, always told me when I was around 15 months old, um, I suffered a seizure. It was in February of 1995. And we're sitting down for dinner and um, we look over and Cheyenne, who was 15 months at the time, was turning blue. In a panic, the first time parents headed straight for the hospital. They came across an ambulance sitting at a gas station. Praise God. My mom got out and was banging on the door. The Edmund EMTs worked to revive Cheyenne as they rushed to the hospital. Her prognosis wasn't good. They said that if she survived, she would have brain damage. And um, so in that moment, we fell to our knees and just start praying. The EMTs came back after their shift and prayed with the family. I'll never forget that. Cheyenne went home, but exactly one month later, another seizure. This time help came knocking on their door. She opened the door and saw it was the same, one of the same EMTs. I just was so relieved. Mom called 911, but says it was God that sent them. My mom always preached to me um, how much of a miracle it was that it was the same, you know, EMT that responded to me and that he already knew what was going on. She's 30, that was, you know, 29 years ago, and I feel like they played such a big part in allowing us to have this much time with her and she's perfectly healthy. For years, the family has been searching for those first responders, but no luck. I wrote their names down and along the line, along the way, I misplaced their names. They were long haired. One of them owned Taekwondo um, business up in Edmond. Since I couldn't find them, I just um, prayed for them and their families um, over the years, sorry. Now a mother herself, Cheyenne says she wants to thank her heroes for the life they've given her. You know, you can thank them over a phone or a screen or, but to be able to, you know, hug them and tell them thank you, you know, to let them see me 30 years later, I think would be really awesome. Reporting, Kylie Thomas, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>